Welcome to Time to Win Podcast. It's not just a podcast. It's the official personal growth locker room of life where champions just like you gather to cultivate their courage, create a life-changing game plan of success, and celebrate their wins. I'm RJ Jackson, your personal growth coach and host, and I'm committed to seeing you win. As a professional speaker and growth coach for over three decades, I've worked with and inspired thousands to grow their greatness and transform their setbacks into a comeback. And now it's your turn. It's time to win. So if you're ready, grab something to take notes with. We're about to dive in. Let's go fight win. Well, hello, beautiful. What's going on, sunshine? Welcome to another episode of Time to Win Podcast. (laughs) I'm so happy that you're here. This is your girl. It's me, RJ Jackson, the Courage Giver your confidence catalyst, serving you women who dare to be more confident so that you can enhance your productivity, elevate your opportunities, and expand your influence. This is the podcast where we explore the power of self-assurance and support women just like you in their journey to become more confident. Today, we have an incredible 17 minutes of life-changing, confidence-boosting inspiration that causes transformation just for you. We've been diving into the topic of boosting your confidence. We've been sharing on our social media two words, confidence-boosting posts on a daily basis to help you do better and be better. And so we're going to continue with that journey, sharing with you some powerful quotes, actionable tips, and of course, inspiring stories of transformation. But first, I want you to know that today's show is brought to you by The Cure for Women at thecureforwomen.com, where you heal, grow, and belong. Visit them today at thecureforwomen.com. So let's talk about confidence. I love the song that says, What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Uh Okay, okay, okay. I tell you every week, I'm not a singer. I am a speaker, but I love to sing. And more importantly, I love to make a joyful noise. But let's let's dive in deeper into this thing of confidence. It's, it's something that's very important. Now, some people believe you're not born with confidence, but I'm not one of those people. I believe that God tells us in his word that he started something good in us. He put something in us. And I believe that's confidence. It's a God thing that's already inside of us. And I also believe that we can choose to develop that confidence and nurture it as we go along in life. Now, as women, it's essential to embrace our unique strength. It's important that we cultivate our confidence in all areas of our life. And if you're like me, you have some areas that's like, yeah, I got this. And then you have some areas that's like, well, um, what had happened was... <laughs> We're still working it out, right? I get it. (laughs) I I get it because I'm the same. No one is confident in every area of our lives. We have some areas that we are strong, we are confident, we have assurance. And then there are those areas that just like, where's the puzzle piece? Because this ain't working. This don't fit. And and I want to encourage you, if that's you, You're not alone, so don't beat yourself up. Remember the words of Maya Angelou when she says, I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sail to always reach my destination. So even when you're not confident, you can have an attitude that helps propel your confidence a little bit higher so that you can achieve the goals that you have set for yourself, big or small, short-term, long-term, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you don't try to control the win, but you just adjust your sail, adjust your mindset, adjust your environment, adjust your thoughts, 
adjust what you say, the words that come out of your mouth. So instead of saying, oh, I don't, I don't think I could do it. Say something like, you know what? This is going to be challenging, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Confidence begins with a self-awareness. It's a belief that we have the capability to overcome obstacles and achieve our goals. So if you're struggling, stick around, my friend. We'll be right back after this message to give you some confidence boosting tips that will help propel your greatness, enhance your productivity, elevate your opportunities, and expand your influence. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Are you ready to conquer your fears, unleash your potential, and ignite your confidence like never before? Get ready for the Confidence Cure 2023 virtual tour. Coming to you live from Atlanta, Georgia, June 17th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a woman ready to shatter self-doubt and step into your true power, join us for an electrifying event featuring your confident tour guide, renowned international speaker, RJ Jackson. This isn't just another virtual event. The Confidence Cure 2023 virtual tour is your ticket to a life-altering experience designed to transform you from the inside out. Reserve your VIP complimentary seat and join us from the comfort of your own home. Register now at thecureforwomen.com. That's thecureforwomen.com for the Confidence Cure 2023 virtual tour. Be there and be unstoppable. All right. I hope you will mark your calendar to join us at the Confidence Cure tour Atlanta, Georgia. We want to see your face in the space. In the meantime, let's look at some confidence boosting tips that you can apply immediately to see the results that you're looking for to do better and be better. Here's tip number one. If you want more tips, we encourage you to follow us on social media. You can find the links right here on our website. So tip number one, embrace your strengths. Oh my gosh. Girl, I don't know why it is as women, we have a tendency to beat ourselves up over what we can't do, what we didn't do, what we quote unquote should have done instead of embracing our strengths. It's important that we take a moment to reflect on our talents and our abilities and embrace them wholeheartedly. Remember, confidence grows when we recognize and celebrate our strength. So instead of focusing on what you haven't done, Concentrate on what you've done, what you've accomplished, your strengths, your accomplishments, the things you've overcome, the challenges you won, the battles you fought and and got a little bit further in. No matter how small they may seem, acknowledge your abilities. You will find that when you acknowledge your abilities, you develop a stronger belief in yourself and your potentials. Don't let your accomplishments and your strengths sit on the sideline. Put them in the forefront of your mind so that you can have something. You see, because like that's adjusting our sale. So put them in the forefront of your mind and remind yourself what you have accomplished so that whatever it is you're going through, you can get through because you set the tone to say, hey, I worked it out. It worked out. I got this and go for it, girl. And remember, as you're beating yourself up, you're also beating yourself down. Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. We don't have to allow other people to make us feel inferior when we're doing an excellent job at it ourselves. So instead of speaking negative over your life, take to heart these wise words that remind us that it's all about our perception of ourself. That is what matters most. And by valuing your own opinion, this is tip number two, stay true to your authentic self and you can overcome any doubt and external judgments that come from other people. If, however, we are beating ourselves down and we are not watching the words we say and speak over our life, it's very difficult to push back the negative things that other people say about us because we already have a head start in the game of speaking negative about who we are. Tip number two says, watch your mouth. Positive self-talk. 
is the name of the game. And it's to be played daily and played to win, my friend. So watch your mouth. As the saying says, watch your mouth. Your words become your actions and your action becomes your habits. And those habits are hard to break. All right, I just paraphrased it. But you get what I'm saying, right? You're picking up what I'm putting down, right? All right, so let's move on to tip number three. And I trust that you are writing down the tips so that you can see which one resonates with you the best, that you can make a change in your life to do better and be better. The first one was embrace your strengths. The second one was watch your mouth, positive Self-talk is the name of the game. And the third one, because I promised to give you three, is step outside of your comfort zone. <laughs> Listen, when you were growing up, did you ever have like a disagreement with someone? Maybe your friends, they came to your house and you were in the house. Or maybe you went to their house and they were in the house and one of you were at the door talking smack outside the door and the other one was talking smack behind the door and the person outside said well okay step outside step outside (laughs) oh my goodness i have a vivid memory of this happening right so he goes well step outside you bad step outside (laughs) i want to tell you today my friend step outside step outside you bad (laughs) step outside your comfort zone Because you can't accomplish anything different inside of your comfort zone. By stepping out of your comfort zone, growth and self-assurance flourishes. We have to start pushing ourselves beyond what's familiar. Those boundaries that say color inside the line. No, we got to seek opportunities to try something new, to do something different, to meet new people, to learn a new skill, volunteer, speak up in the meeting, say what we want, ask for what we want when it feels uncomfortable. This, my friend, is your sign to get uncomfortable, to leave your comfort zone and watch your confidence soar. Listen, you can be more confident if you're willing to take a step outside of your comfort zone. Now, 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 hold up. I know. It's scary. It's risky. I get it. And that's why I want to encourage you and stand beside you as you take a risk with confidence. I got to do that with Lisa. Lisa was one of my clients and she was struggling with self-doubt for like years. And she dreamed of starting her own business, but constantly, constantly questioned her ability. But one day she decided to face her fears head on, like, okay, I'm going for it. She had been attending workshops. She had mentors. She surrounded herself with supportive individuals. And then she reached out to me for Cure Confidence Coaching. And really, she had the answer inside of her already. What I did was journey with her and remind her to persevere beyond her self-doubts, to show her a way that she had never considered before. And to hold her hand while she stepped out of her comfort zone. It was challenging, but she was determined. And we journeyed together and she started her business. And yes, she's still having challenges, but she still keeps going. And she gets stronger and wiser every day. And her confidence is soaring high, higher than ever before. This can be you. Your path may be a little different, but you have the strength within you to overcome any obstacle and become the confident woman you aspire to be. You can do it. You can get beyond your low self-confidence. And I'm here to help you through it. I want to invite you to do it to come with me on a joy ride, to take a moment and reflect your own journey towards confidence. What are you doing different? that's helping you get the different results that you desire. Because you know what they say, if you keep doing the same thing, you're gonna continue to get the same result. You can, you can be more confident. You can be more confident in your career, in your relationships, in your personal growth. You can be more confident. So I wanna encourage you to take one step at a time and identify one step you're gonna take today to move closer towards your goal of being more confident. Whether that's signing up for a course, joining the Cure Circle, practicing positive affirmations, joining us on the tour, 
or spending a VIP day with me. You can do it. And keep in mind, it's not an overnight achievement. It's a continuous process of self-discovery and growth. So be patient with yourself and celebrate every milestone along the way. Believe in your abilities, embrace your strength, watch your mouth, and step out of your comfort zone. You, my friend, have the power to create a life filled with confidence and constant joy. You are capable, you are strong, and deserving of all the success and happiness that comes your way. Confidence in every area of your life is within your reach. Come on, believe in yourself. Take action and watch your life transform. I'd love to know what's the next step you're going to take as a result of us spending this time together. I invite you to leave a comment, leave a review, or message me to say, this, RJ, is what I'm going to do to be more confident. And remember, you're not alone. It's my pleasure to journey with you. Come on, girl. I'm happy to be your guide on the side, taking you on a joy ride so that you can be more confident. Well, I'm not tired, but my time has expired. I'm going to let you go and be more confident. I look forward to you joining us again next week right here in the locker room of life. In the meantime, in between time, be more confident. Thank you for listening to Time to Win. I recognize that you appreciate the value provided in today's episode. And for your gratitude, I'm giving you a Time to Win VIP listener badge. So head on over to timetowinpodcast.com. That's timetowinpodcast.com. And claim your badge and gain immediate VIP access to more of our next level resources and opportunities, including details on the huddle, a table for 10, the cure circle, and the cure retreat. Because you've enjoyed today's session, you can also express your gratitude by rating, reviewing, and returning next week with a friend. Oh, by the way, be sure to screenshot today's episode and share it in your Instagram and Facebook story or on your favorite social media platform. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week in the locker room of life here on Time to Win. And remember... The best time to win is now.